North Korea warned, Donald Trump is not here to play Kim Jong-un must stop WW3 threat. North Korea's aggressive stance toward the international community could soon push the United States to unleash a harsh military intervention. North Korea has been fueling World War III fears by refusing to heed calls to shut down its nuclear development program. Gunnery Sergeant Jesse Jane Duff said President Donald Trump had proved the U.S. would be ready to strike Kim Jong-un if his threats persisted. She said, the United States has demonstrated to North Korea that we are not playing anymore. President Trump, basically with his last tweet we all saw, stated, you want to play games? Well, guess what? My game board is bigger than yours. In the military that is kind of stating to you enemies that all bets are off. North Korea has refused to give up developing its military arsenal despite the UN decision to hit the rogue state with a new series of sanctions targeting Pyongyang's economy and trade. Gunnery Sergeant Duff said the United States was ready to intervene to force Kim into negotiating a peace treaty with South Korea resolving a nearly 65-year-long stalemate. And she claimed sanctions had finally begun to show results seemingly affecting North Korea's military capability by reducing food reserves. Speaking to Fox Business, the gunnery sergeant continued, We are not here to play around while Kim tries to take over the entire peninsula, which has been North Korea's entire goal. But finally the sanctions have worked. They are going to have to negotiate. People have to recognize that he has the fourth largest army in the world, however, we don't know how much nutrition they have because they are literally being allowed to take leave to forge food. The sanctions have impacted his own army significantly. It comes after North Korea accepted an invitation from Seoul to resume peace talks with South Korea in groundbreaking high-level talks ahead of the 2018 Winter Olympics. The warring neighbors resumed communications for the first time since 2016 this week in a telephone exchange.